Hello and welcome to Chemical Safety's video tutorial library. This video will show you how to create an audit, create your own checklist questionnaire, create an incident category, create an incident, and finally how to answer the questionnaire. We will begin by showing you how to create an audit. Log in with your EMS credentials. Once on your default quick start screen, go to the left sidebar menu and select Facility, Audit, and then press Add in the top right corner when the form opens. You can assign task rules according to the answers you will have in the questionnaires. Fill in the information you wish to enter for the audit. Once filled out, go down to the Assign Checklist tab, right-click, and press Add. For the checklist form, Click the small icon to the right to search for your desired checklist category. If you wish to add task rules, check the box that says Add Task Rules. Press Save. The checklist item will now appear in the Assigned Checklist section. Now go to the Audit Task Rules tab and again right-click and press Add. Fill in the field section with the question you wish to address. Enter a rule a value, and customize the male body here to fit the employee needs. When finished, press Save and observe that the item is now in the Audit Task Rules section. The next thing we will show you is how you can add a checklist questionnaire. Go to Facility, Audit Builder, and select Add in the top right corner. Type the title of your questionnaire and fill out the number of questions you want to include. In the Questions section, right-click and press Add. Here you can start filling out the content of your questionnaire. Enter the type of question you want it to be and fill out the actual question you wish to review later. Observe that the question you filled out now appears in the Questions section. For the sake of this video, we are canceling our progress with the questionnaire because the steps were completed just to show you an example. We will now show you how to create an incident category. Go to Employee, Incident Category, and press Add. Type in the description of the category, the facility, and then press Save. In the description box at the bottom, right click and press Add Task. Add the description of the task, employee name, email, and the message you wish to appear in the email that will be sent. Press OK, and the task has been added here. To add a checklist to your tasks, right-click on the item and press Add Audit. This box will appear in which you will be prompted to select a checklist to enter. Press OK. The next part of the video we will show you is how to create an incident. On the left sidebar menu, go to Employee, Incident. Click Add in the top right corner and make sure to fill out all the fields that are mandatory, having a pink background. These include Incident Location, ID, and Category. Fill in any other information you wish to include. Selecting the category is very important in order to be clear on the type of incident that has occurred. Save your record. View any corrective actions that have been entered up to this point by selecting the Corrective Actions tab at the bottom of the page.
For the last part of this video, we will show you how to answer a questionnaire. Open your email account to view the mail you have received and click on the link that leads to the questionnaire in your EMS account. Here we will show you an example of how to answer the questionnaire. We answered yes to the question of the gas valve being broken, so we know that the plumber needs to be informed. Save all progress. Here is the message that he or she will have received. It is not mandatory for the plumber, in this case, to click on the link for the task item, but it is there so he or she can access the message through the EMS form if they want to. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for your needs. Please visit our website at www.chemicalsafety.com support for more tutorials and information about our company.